Strusland and Dave Brown right along ringside. Son of a gun, we're waiting for another big one today, Oh, David. get ready. We're going to have Buddy Landell in here in our opening match coming up in just a few minutes. We will also be looking at some new faces today, but we'll be looking at some other familiar faces, too, like the Fantastics who will be here in a tag team right. match. A couple of matches we're looking forward to. Bill Dundee and Dutch Mantel will be teamed up in a match, and also Billy Travis will be teamed up with the spoiler in a match, too. Yeah, we, uh, as a matter of fact, have a bunch of matches scheduled here, and i tell you what we better do. Let's get on with it. We're going to be back and ready to go with Landell, the nature boy, in that opening bout in just a moment. <laughs> Right there is Lionel Green. Lionel Green in here to uh, face some rugged competition here on Championship Wrestling today. His opponent has not, yeah, here he comes. On his way to the ring right now. In the robe. The big L on the back of it, that is Buddy Landell. This will be a one fall 15 minute time limit match introducing from Gallatin, Tennessee at 225 pounds, Lionel Green and his opponent from Los Angeles, California, 226 pounds, Nature Boy, Buddy Landell. This match will be one fall, 15 minute time limit. Referee there is Jerry Calhoun. And a I guest. Well, I think I just dropped in to add a little class to this, this podium up here. No, I'm not saying you guys ain't good at what you do. I just said I probably to add a little class to it. That obviously is the Southern Heavyweight Champion Bill, the living legend, Dundee, who now has joined us here. poetry in motion in the ring right now, the Nature Boy. Look oh. at that drop kick, baby. They don't call him the Nature Boy for nothing. I'm going to tell you something, brother. The Nature Boy's now the Mid-America champion, and he's going to be the world's champion. He's going to take it away from Ric Flair, because that's the only real Nature Boy. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He got a drop kick in there that... Uh was the beginning of the end. It hasn't come, but Dundee oh. coming over there and slaps Lionel Green. Green's got enough trouble. He does not need any outside thing from Dundee. Landell caught him with a drop kick that set it up, Dave. He really nailed him with that one foot the way he is able to do that. He splits his feet. One of them caught him right up in the head, and he is just pounding away on uh, Lionel Green. Down to the mat he goes with him. Front face lock he carried him into the mat with. It looks like almost a chokehold, but the referee's checking it to be certain he's not across the throat. Lionel Green tried to take his feet out from under him, but couldn't do it. Landell stayed with him. Come on, nature boy, take him out, daddy. There's a shot of Landell holding that front face lock down on, uh, yeah, now you can see it squared away in a authentic genuine as he picks him up slams him down on the mat big elbow and down with a hip and the elbow going for the figure four leg lock that is going to be all she wrote buddy landell will right that moment get the victory minute 44 seconds of time of it referee trying to get him uh, untangled there as buddy landell got the figure four leg lock Difficult hole to break. Lionel Green in some pain there, especially the, the right leg. There's the hand raise, and Buddy Landell has the win. Minute 45 seconds, again the time. One minute, 45 seconds, and the winner, Nature Boy, Buddy Landell, and gave the Lionel Green quite a uh, unwelcome welcome as he brought him in here in his first match. Buddy Landell, the winner. You know, Lance. You know. <laughs> It's a funny thing that the nature boy has to come out here and wrestle guys that can't even lace my boots, but that's okay because I'm gonna take them out of the picture. And another thing, you've seen how the uh, wheelbarrows have been coming in with all the letters, right? Oh yeah, 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 buddy, I sure have. So this two letter stuff don't hold anymore, right or wrong? Well, you got a little more than two. Everybody wants to get on the Nature Boys bandwagon. You know, I bet there's nobody in, around that has more letters than the Nature Boy, okay? Let me tell you something. I got to wrestle this geek named Dirty Rhodes. I don't like anything about the roads. Buddy, before you get into that, how about let's telling the people what you're talking about, and that is the date with Buddy Landell. Hey. I've already come out here week, week after week and told you that the girls 
All they got to do, no rules. I don't care if you're married, single, divorced, whatever. Just send an 8 by 10 color photo of yourself, and you might be lucky to win the date with the Nature Boy, okay? There's where you send it right there. Yeah, don't, wherever you are in our viewing area to Buddy Landell Date, WMC TV 5, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. And that is the address. Now, getting back, one person who is not on the Buddy Landell bandwagon, but more like on your case, is Dirty Rose. Well, Lance Russell, as you'll see in a few seconds when I'm going to have you roll the film, there's no doubt whatsoever that I did leave him laying in the middle of the ring, right or wrong. Roll the film, roll the film. Okay, let's take a look at what Landell is talking about. Dundee jumped in, I think, first. Dirty Rhodes came after that. They've got Casey strung up with a whip over on the side of the ring. Dirty, whose face is messed up by Buddy Landell. Coco Ware being annihilated by the sheep herders in Dundee. And Casey just being choked with that whip. Lance Russell, a picture paints a thousand words. Do I have to say any more? Did I or did I not leave him laying in the middle of the ring? We said he was in bad shape, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what you were doing down there, that, but that's beside the point. Anyhow, you've made your point. Yes, in fact, you did mess his face. Look, Lance, I gotta go make a uh, phone call to Hollywood right now. Oh, 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 oh I see. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, the reason he took off, Dirty, hey, we got to take a break right now, partner. We'll try to get to you in a little bit. I know you got rid of him. We'll try to get to you in a moment. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we're going to be back out of the action here on Channel 7's Championship Wrestling. Just a moment. Boy, Wednesday night, the Coliseum, seven big matches. I'll get to them in just a moment. Do want to tell you Monday, that's this coming Monday, February the 10th, Lewisport, Kentucky. We'll have complete information on that also coming up a little bit later on. Boy, this one, Wednesday night, is so big. If you'll watch the rest of the show, you'll see it. There's even been an added match when Bill Dundee and Dutch Mantell will be in there against Rick Casey and Dirty Rhodes. You'll hear all about it. First, I want to talk about an international heavyweight title match. Now, the champion does not have the advantage in this one of being able to get disqualified and keep the belt because it's no disqualification, no time limit. Rick Casey. Hey, I don't out. need any stipulation to help me hold on to this belt, Lance well, Russell. Now, you're an announcer. You are opinionated. Let me talk because the people would rather hear what I got to say and what, what you've got to okay, say. Doug. Casey, here it is. The only thing between you and this belt is me. And hey, baby, if you take me down one, two, three, you can have it, but you're not going to take me down because you ain't the man I am, and never will you be the man that I am. Because baby, after last week, I doubt if you can beat anybody, but I want you to climb in this ring and see if you can take this international title away from me, and that remains to be seen, but I know for one that you cannot do it. And Bill, we got an added mass, and you are, I want you to tell these people about it. Yes, That's sir, right. you do. First, you got the main event, oh, the yeah. Fantastics. You got a big partner in That's that Gaddafi. Right. That's call Gaddafi. Now, I'm not selling the Fantastics short. They don't whoop the sheep hooders and run them out there. That yep. sticks in my crow because they were from down under. Well, I'm going to tell you something fantastic. You are going down with a superstar in Gaddafi. Then we got this Casey and Rhodes. They think they're going to jump me from behind, Daddy. Just keep watching this television show and see what kind of cowards they are. Right, Daddy? Right. Well, I'm just going to tell you something. The Fantastics is a bad night for you. And for you, Rhodes, and you, Casey, it's a bad night for you because you ain't seen the day you can whoop us. Thank you. You know, they're going to learn they can't keep sticking their nose in other people's business because when they do, they're going to get it knocked off and you're going to get it knocked off right there at Evansville. I-N-D. Wednesday is the time. Bell signifying we have one participant in there, but not uh, two. So we need one more to get a match going here. 
And coming out right now, making his first appearance is Abdul Gaddafi, wrestling out of Libya. Dundee's got his uh, his non-stop talking yeah. voice on today. This is a one-fall, 15-minute time limit match out of Gallatin, Tennessee, at 240 pounds. Bobby Fuqua and going against him out of Libya at 282 pounds. Abdul Gaddafi. This match one fall, 15 minute time limit. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. And the, the living legend, Bill Dundee, are, is around ringside here. Yeah. There you see. Uh, and expect to see maybe a little participation out of him before this match is over with. Fuqua just absolutely annihilated with a, a clothesline. Gaddafi going after that chokehold, and the referee breaks it up. Free hollering, you're breaking the rules. That's true. He almost broke his neck as he snapped him off that top rope. And Fuqua has not had a chance to breathe in this one. And down he goes on the deck. He's using that choke hole liberally here. He picked him up by the throat and then he was choking him on the uh, mat. Dundee distracting the referee is an elbow and another one and then a choke hole. Fuqua has yet to make a decent offensive effort as uh, Abdul Gaddafi has just been on top of him from the opening bell all the way. Gaddafi is huge, 282 pounds. Broad arm across the back. He sure is big. He is big, and I'll agree with the other statement. He has certainly not shown that he knows anything about wrestling. Loves a chokehold. All he's shown is the chokehold and the broad arm so far. There's the Irish whip into the rope. Power slam down to the mat. Might be it. Counts at two and three. It is it. And the Libyan, Abdul Gaddafi, has his first victory here on championship wrestling against young Bobby Fuqua. Okay, so that one uh, did not take very long. Minute 34. Minute 34, and that match is history. We've got other action coming up. Fantastics will be in a little while. Dundee and Mantell against Dirty Roads, and uh, the uh, his partner will be Tracy Smothers. Lots of action still to come. Hey, a brand new team that's coming into the area with their manager J.D. Costello will be the Mod Squad. We got a little piece on them right here. Let's see who they are. For the first time ever, you're looking at the newest and brightest wrestling stars to rule the world of professional wrestling. I'm J.D. Costello with Spike and Basher, two creations of Mother Nature gone wrong. Now, I don't look like a wrestling manager doer. Well, I've never done it before. I'm used to playing polo and hopping on Mother's Lear jet, heading for the Caribbean. Well, I was in Jamaica just last week. Oh, the women were oh so fine, sipping on Kool-Aid at the beach. Actually, I come from a very prestigious family from New Orleans family that's rich in Southern tradition. My mother sent me to 14 universities, set me up in 12 different businesses. But for some reason, I couldn't find myself. Well, a month ago, mother called me into the study. I sat down, I was real nervous. She said, JD, I'm gonna talk to you. Mother to son, she said, you're the black sheep of the family. She said, all your brothers and sisters are successful business people, multimillionaires. You're nothing but a waste, JD. She said, I'm going to give you one more chance to be successful or you're not going to get any of the inheritance. Well, I got real scared. I started crying. I ran outside the mansion down to the Bourbon Street Bar. I sat down crying and my beer went in while two of the biggest men I've ever seen in my entire life. They sat down right beside me. They said their names were Spike and Basher. They were crying too because they had just got fired from the New Orleans Police Department for misbehavior. They said they wanted a new job to get rich and to hurt people. Well, I thought what mother had told me. I put two and two together. I got five and I told Spike and Basher, let's form the perfect tag team to rule the world of professional wrestling. I'll pay you very good money to hurt people. They all agreed we're all together now and we're gonna be on your way soon to crack skulls and to get rich quick. A word of warning, don't forget the names, don't forget the faces, we're the Mod Squad. Oh, we heard it in the comments about it, and we've heard a lot of that before, and the look is kind of familiar, too, yeah, a little as a bit. matter of fact. Yeah, let's talk about right now uh, something that's coming up in the near future. This is something I don't believe a lot of the wrestling fans have, uh, have heard about, but an exciting event, and I can't wait for the son of a gun to get started. Anybody who likes action has got to feel that way about it. This is called the Battle of the Thunderdome. Now, 
what that is, there's so many guys that, that go around. You hear Dundee, Mantell, uh, Landell, well, all of them, as a matter of fact. Most of the guys who are, who are in professional wrestling, if they didn't believe that they were tough, they would be in some other kind right. of profession. This is kind of an effort to uh, separate uh, the conversation from the deed, and that is the Thunderdome, the Battle of the Thunderdome. In this, there's going to be a series of bouts. That is to say, wherever you're hearing wrestling, it could be in your town, uh, where all of the guys come in and participate in this in a situation where they wear whatever they want to wear, whatever they think is going to suit them best to climb into the ring to come out a winner, they will wear that in and go at it, my friend. There will be a winner. Then... They're going to be compiling the win-loss of the different fellows in the different battles of the Thunderdome in the various towns, and the two guys that come up with the best record of Thunderdome battles will be meeting for not only the prestige of being the toughest of the tough, but in addition to that, they're going to come down with a heavyweight prize that I think that they will enjoy too, money. All of that will be a near future thing, and we hope maybe that you, in fact, will be looking for it to come to your town. It's called the Battle of the Thunderdome. It will be some kind of an exciting piece of action. May not be the most artistic, beautiful wrestling piece you ever saw, but I guarantee you, you are going to love the action that's going to take place in the Battle of the Thunderdome. More about it as time goes along. Right now, time out, back with the Fantastics in just a moment. <laughs> Sixty seconds here to tell you that again Monday right there in Lewisport, Kentucky, at the Hancock County High School Championship Wrestling Action will be coming in. Now you can get your advance tickets at the high school at the Lewisport Pharmacy and at Cozy Kitchen. A lot of big names going to be there. Fantastic's going to be there. Superstar Bill Dundee, Dutch Mantell, lots of them going to be right there Monday in Lewisport, Kentucky. On down the road Thursday, February the twentieth, Borden, Indiana, right there at the high school. And by golly, you'll hear more about that later on. Now, how about the seven matches coming into the Coliseum Wednesday night? Yamamoto against Mr. X, Pat Rose and Tom Branch facing Frank Morrell and Billy Travis. Thunderbolt Hamilton goes against Tony Falk. Uh, we'll be looking at Dirty Roads and Nature Boy Buddy Landell. International heavyweight title match. No disqualification. Casey and Mantell. Fantastics going against Bill Dundee and a brand new one, Gaddafi. And then Casey and Rhodes against Dundee and Mantell. Fantastics, Tommy Rogers, Bobby Fulton greeting the crowd. Their opponents are already in the ring. New team. Uh, that they'll be going against today, Dave. Evil looking team. We'll show up to you in a moment there. First, watch the Fantastics as they say hello to all the fans, which they, they give a lot of the credit for uh, their success in the territory here. This is truly an example of where the enthusiasm, the exuberance that they show leads certainly to part of the result that they have had. They are indeed enthusiastic every time they climb through those ropes and they really get when you beat, when you beat these guys you're gonna have to flat beat them in the ring whether there is no way they're gonna tire out or anything else they're in there to win it and they've done an awfully good job of doing that popular team the fantastics Bobby Ford and Tommy Rogers so let's go to the ring for the introduction David it's gonna be a one fall 15 minute time limit match introducing from parts unknown you can barely see them there they are robed in black over on the left of the screen that is at a total of 508 pounds the undertakers and going against them at a total of 449 pounds from the city of angels Los Angeles California Bobby Fulton and Tommy Rogers the fantastic they wear the Southern Tag Team Championship belts. This is a non-title match. One fall, 15-minute time limit. Referee Jerry Calhoun. And the Undertakers, both of them big. This is the shorter of the two, but we're talking a matter of just an inch, inch and a half. They're both about the same size. 
both will weigh in right around the 250 mark. Tommy Rogers, well-placed right hand to the side of the mask. And the Undertakers over in their corner make a tag. Didn't take him long to decide mm -hmm. he'd like to get away from that. You know, these guys have the size advantage on the Fantastics. That may be all. We don't know much about the Undertakers. Haven't seen them wrestle. First look at them on Championship Wrestling. Good fast move by Rogers after the tag to Fulton. Tommy was around behind, and when the Undertaker drew back to go at Bobby Fulton, Tommy hooked him up in a uh, full Nelson, turned him around, now bars the arm. And over at the ropes, where he can tag Bobby Fulton and does. Tommy, hold it on, stretching that arm out. One of the favorite moves of the team of the Fantastics. Bobby, good drop kick on the Undertaker as he was coming off the rope. Bobby Rogers picks him up. Look at Body that. slams him. Wow. Talk about a young man being in good shape. You're looking at it. Tommy Rogers, the other of the Undertakers, jumps in. Tommy, round behind him, takes him down to the mat. Undertaker works his way over to the side of the ring. Got a foot under the bottom rope, and the referee called for the break. Tommy broke it clean. Another tag as the Fantastics continue to work well together, and they will. They've been wrestling together long enough that they really have it down slick. Arm bar. As Bobby Fulton takes the big undertaker down on the mat and drops a knee right at his throat. Referee is checking there, but the left shoulder is up high off the mat. And now the undertaker puts a foot on the bottom rope. Referee says, uh-uh, not gonna break it just for that. He just barely was touching the rope. Here's Tommy Rogers back in. Tommy with a left arm barred. Two minutes, 30 seconds gone in this one. Undertaker works his way over to his corner, gets the tag on his partner. This is the taller of the two of them. Tommy Rogers works his way over to his corner and makes a tag. Bobby Fulton snaps him over. Nice Ooh, suplex. Boy, wow. That nice, though. Tommy up on the middle rope. Ooh, one, two, and three. Ooh. Boy, Tommy really came flying off the rope, smashed down on top of him, held him for the three count at two minutes, 52 seconds. The winner is the Fantastics. Be with him in just a moment. Jerry the King Lawler's cassette has been met with great reception from wrestling fans. If you haven't thought about adding it to your collection, why don't you do that? Here's some information about this great hour-long cassette on the King. Nothing more appropriate than we should take just a moment to talk about an outstanding new video that you may want to add to your collection. This one is called Jerry the King Lawler, Wrestling's Royalty, Volume 1 of the Collector Series. Now, in this uh, tape, you are going to find all of the great highlights of the outstanding life and career of Jerry Lawler. Yes, sir, it's available right now. I'd make it a point. Don't procrastinate. That is, put it off. No, sir, get it right now. You can do it by calling one 800 524 2507. That phone number again is 5 is 1 800 524 2507. How much? $29.95 plus $5.95's postage and handling. And actually, that is very, very little for all that you get in the Jerry Lawler collector's item. You'll want to get it and add it to your collection. Once again, the phone number 1 800 524 2507 earlier uh, Buddy Landell was out here bragging about the date with Buddy Landell's mail. Let me tell you that the fantastic date with the Fantastics mail has been absolutely tremendous, Bobby. Well, you know, I tell you, we appreciate all the people writing in about the Fantastics mail. We want to say one thing right now to all the people out there. Thank you for the support for the Sheep Herders, and we hope for your continued support because without you, we're nothing, baby, and we're fired up about it. Now the date. A lot of names are coming in. A lot of girls are writing in. We appreciate that. You know, me and Tommy are tickled to death. 
And I'll tell you, there's a lot of pretty girls, and I wish there would be a lot of winners in this day, brother. I wish we'd get the biggest limo in the world and load all these girls up, because me and Tommy sure would party, brother, with the best of them. You all are going to have the opportunity to take two of the girls that are decided by Young and Associates as the winners, uh, writing in in 100 words or less. Bill, what are you doing? trying to tell the people about the fantastic day. Lance, it's hard to come out here and talk about anything because you're always interrupted. No. Bobby, 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 I like both. I have nothing personally against you. I used to drive up and down the road with this punk, right? Then all of a sudden, he wants to be a star. He goes and he gets this guy right here. Then they call himself the Phantom. That's fine. But the only bad thing is, Daddy, you're doing all the stuff that Bill Dundee used to do. He shaked his little booty. You shake your little booty. All them silly little girls scream. I'm the guy that started all that. These people are good people out here, Dundee. I don't know what happened to you. <laughs> well, I'm just telling you, you Bobby. I have no beef for you, Tommy. I'm just telling you something. I'm telling you, you want to be so bad like Bill Dundee, you can taste it. Hey, well, I'm going to make you Bill Dundee, Daddy. But not today. I'm going to tell you, don't shake your little booty. Don't do the strut. And don't wear them fancy jackets, hey, okay? Hey, let me tell you something, No, Dundee. you ain't telling hey, me nothing. Hey, hey. This is 1986, brother, and you don't tell me what to do. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, Mr. Russell Tom. Every time Dundee sticks his nose in it and his business up the wall, Dundee, I'm not going to do what you tell me to do. These people are the people that I listen to, and they tell me to go. They tell me what you say. One thing, if they thought they were dealing with a couple of guys, they were going to back away and let them get away with that stuff. They got another thing coming. Buddy, I told you right now, Dundee, those sheep herders didn't walk over me, and you're not going to walk over us. Dundee, you've got a tiger by the tail, brother, and you better let Goose loose because you ain't going to be able to hold on. Let me tell you people something right now. All the people out there, Dundee, you're in for it, boy, because we're the Fantastics have now declared war on you. And Gaddafi, you just stuck your nose in the middle where it don't belong. And I'll tell you what, the Fantastic's gonna punch you right in it. Be fired up, because we're coming. You better be prepared, Dundee, because no longer will you be the legend killer, and you definitely ain't gonna tell me what to do. Whatever this stuff is in my hair, blue, black, forget it, because you're gonna be black and blue, Dundee, and so are you, Gaddafi, when the Fantastic's gonna kill I'll tell you something, Dundee, jealousy's not gonna get you nowhere. Gaddafi, you all know about war. Well, let me tell you something, you don't know about the Fantastic, because they're coming fired up in this war, baby. All out war. Let me tell you something, Dundee, Gaddafi, tomorrow night is when it's all gonna happen, tomorrow night. Let me tell you something, you know, it don't matter where it be, Louisville, Memphis, Lexington, Evansville, Nashville, Dundee and Gaddafi, the war's begun. United States against Libya and Australia, Dundee, your days are numbered, punk. Fantastics and fired up. Make way coming up. One fall, 15 minute time limit match. Introducing at a total weight of 524 pounds from Springfield, Tennessee, Tracy Smothers, his partner from Austin, Texas, Dirty Roads, and going against him at a total of 443 pounds. From Oil Trough, Texas, Dutch Mantel. And from Australia, the superstar, the living legend by his own account, the superstar Bill Dundee. This match one fall, 15 minute time limit. Jerry Calhoun says ring the bell and we are underway. Tracy Smothers giving way to Dirty Roads to start as Dutch Mantel will be starting for the team of Dundee and Mantel. Really a, a good rugged competition here with Dundee and Mantel, two very, very hard veterans and big Dirty Roads with a uh, relatively newcomer. He is not, but in relation to these guys, Tracy Smothers is that. Dirty Rhodes, the biggest man of uh, all in this tag team match in there against the Dutchman. And 
Patel. Pulling the hair from time to time. Whoa! Not like we had a, uh, a cable break underneath the ring. We heard it snap, and while one of the one of the ropes has not caved in, it's, it's certainly loose. So they're going to have to be careful. I believe one of the cables snapped underneath. That's the uh, counter pull to the ring underneath the ring. I think that's it because all the ropes are loose, indicating there's not enough tension on the top of the post right. there. Minute 20 into the action. Bill Dundee, Dirty Rhodes makes the tag. Here comes Tracy Smothers. First official look at him in the match. Side mare and Smothers takes Dundee over and down. Big, fine, physical specimen Smothers is. We have said before that Tracy uh, is such a nice guy. He had a hard time developing aggressiveness in the ring, but it's matches just like this that are going to teach him a lot. Dundee grabs the bull whip of Mantell's and beats on Smothers' back. There's a tag on Dundee as Mantell gives him a final shot right to the head. Dundee across the lower back. Tracy was trying to get the, to the corner in the tag, but they held him back closer to their corner. Uh, they throw him out of here, under the floor. Got Dundee with a folding metal chair. Oh, Dirty Rhodes looking out for his young partner, comes flying around there after Dundee laced him in the back. Dirty goes chasing Dundee, and Mantell jumps down. Now they're double teaming. Oh, they slammed him right into the ring post. And Smothers, after being hit with that chair, slammed into the ring post. Boy, they have really been working on the small of the back. The ring post, the chair. Dundee had uh, put a boot in his back and a lower leg. Tracy was getting into the ring. Dundee picks him up and slams him on this concrete studio floor, concrete covered by tile. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Boy, they have really laid it on young Tracy. He gets back in the ring, and he's no better off up there because Mantell was waiting on him. Tag, and here comes Dundee. Double hands him right in that lower back, Dave. Well, they have really, really been working on that back on Tracy Smothers. They got him in there, went to work on him when they were able to hurt him in the back. They have just kept the heat on. Here's Dirty Rhodes coming in, trying to help out. Dundee was sitting on this ball of the back and uh, chin locked him, pulling up, so he just puts more pressure on it. Smothers trying to fight his way clear where he can get over to Dirty, but Dutch having no part of that. Dirty Rhodes trying to tell the referee what's going on across the way. Dundee was choking Tracy with that bullwhip of Mantel's that's hanging on the uh, in the uh, corner on the turnbuckles. And again, Mantel keeps Dirty Rhodes occupied while Dundee comes off the ropes on to Tracy. Once again, they go on that lower back. Mantel using the fist. There's a, a forearm, forearm right across the back. Boy, they have really been working on him. We're five minutes into the action. Five minutes gone. Now Dundee takes over, pounding on that lower back. Snapped over the shoulder, a foot to the back. Dusty Rhodes run back out of there, and out on the floor goes Tracy Smothers. And again. Ran him into the ring post. Yep, using that ring post. 
Dundee and Mantell sadistic in their treatment of Smothers. They're not even trying for a pin. They're just trying to hurt him. Dundee with a slam. There's a cover. Picks him up at the one count. Picked him up with a hair. Dundee just trying to insult him. Open hand slap a couple of times. But Dutch Mantell has Tracy Smothers. Dundee over That's the top. That's going to be it. Disqualification has just occurred here as Dundee was over by the ropes. Tracy Smothers went over the top rope, and you can't do that. Six minutes, 25 seconds to time. A victory by DQ for Dirty Rhodes and Tracy Smothers. Look out, Mantell. That bull whip round behind Dirty Rhodes. Well, now they've got both of them occupied, and Smothers takes another vicious shot from Dundee with that chair, slams him into the ring post, and Tracy just absolutely being annihilated by Dundee. As Dirty Rhodes being held by Mantell. Yeah, Mantell popped him with the uh, handle of that pile driver on Ooh. Tracy. Yeah, you're right. He busted Dirty's head open with the handle of that bull whip. Tracy slammed in with a pile driver into the into the floor. Dutch Mantell again with that whip with a handle, busting Dirty's head open, and he's already. Got it bleeding as Dirty is nailed with a chair. And we've seen enough of this. We're going to get some help in there. Let's take a break right now. Let's take a break and we'll be back. Let's get some help. still some action to come you better believe that and we'll be back to it here in just a moment again one final reminder monday coming up this monday february the 10th lewisport kentucky big action of championship wrestling boy the seven matches that's including this added match that will be coming up you have got a dynamite card coming in there one of them is going to be a uh, bout between dirty roads and buddy landell hey also dirty you're going to be involved in that added match that the promoter did sign with you and rick going against uh, mantel in Dundee. Well, brother, let me tell you something. As the people just saw and witnessed, was not a very pleasant sight, and something that Dirty Roads is not accustomed to, Mantell, Dundee. Things like that don't go on, brother, without being repaid. When you do something to the man like that, Jack, you have to come up and pay your dues. When you dance, brother, you got to put money in the jukebox. And when you do the things that you did to me, brother, you have to pay in blood. Now, Lance Russell, I want to tell the people right there in Evansville, Indiana, brother, before we go to that final match. There will be two straps changed, brother. Buddy Landell, I will beat you for the Mid-America title. And Rick, you tell them just exactly what you're going to do to that dirty, low-down Dutchman. Yeah, it's no disqualification, so although Mantell brushed it off, that means he can't get disqualified and keep the belt. That's exactly right, Lance. You know, everybody just seen right here in Dirty said, just like he said, it wasn't a very pretty sight, but it's about time somebody gave them a little taste of their own medicine, right, like they did. Okay, now I got a very important match coming up before this special added match. Right. Dutch Mantel. Let me tell you something, baby. The cards are finally going to fall my way because it's no disqualification, no time limit. You can't disqualify yourself to keep that belt. I've worked very hard to get it, Lance Russell. And I tell you what, when I come to Evansville, Indiana, I'm not going to let my people down out there. All those fans that's been supporting me, I'm not going to let them down, Dutch Mantel. I'm going to take that belt. And then it's going to be that final bow. Also, want to mention the main event. Tommy Rogers and Bobby Fulton, the Fantastics, will be going against Dundee and Gaddafi. Trying to use the chair as a stretcher to get Tracy out of here. Dundee and Mantell aren't making the task any easier as they keep pulling that whip off of there. Eddie Marlin is out with Rick Casey and Dirty Rhodes as they're, they're picking up 
There they go. Oh. Rick Casey going after Dundee. Dirty going after Mantell. Eddie Marlin with a referee trying to get to Tracy Smothers to get him out. But finally, what they deserve. That got them out of here. Once again, they're trying to move Tracy out. Boy, Dundee came right off that ring, dead right in the middle of his stomach. Rick Casey, Dirty Rhodes ended up taking care of Mantell and Dundee. And now with the referee, Rick Casey and Eddie Marlin, they're getting Tracy back to have to have him looked at. Boy, they, they just viciously, and you know there's no reason to do that. I just can't understand guys like that. Dundee and Mantell, though, they fit the mold. Okay, I guess we, uh, well, we'll need to get rid. We'll get somebody to get that uh, whip out of there before we get underway with the next one. Let's uh, let's get our next bout schedule. Tap the bell. Hey, Larry. Get Larry Hamilton over here. Last week we didn't have a chance to. But no, my golly, I'll tell you, it's good to have you right here, Larry. Step right over here with me. We didn't get a chance last a uh, couple of weeks ago uh, to introduce you and really have you by here, but we're delighted to have you. Thunderbolt Hamilton's reputation preceded him, and son of a gun, you really lived up to it so far, Larry. Well, Lance, I appreciate that, but uh, I'd like to say something. Everybody's wondering what the Thunderbolt is doing here. Uh, in the territory. I'd like to see a couple things. First of all, Bill Dundee, Dutch Mantell, and Buddy Landell. See, Bill Dundee, I think he must think he owns some kind of travel agency because he's bragging about everybody he sent out. Yeah, and yeah. Dutch Mantell, I don't know what his problem is. He seems to want to spit and attack everyone. Well, I'm here for a special purpose, and sooner or later, the people are going to find out. If the uh, Fantastics, two of my favorite guys, brother, they got more light than them than you can ever believe. And if they need my help, Rick Casey and, uh, and Dirty Roll, hey, I'm here, and let me say something, brother. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. I got a little work to do right now, Lance. I'll okay, be, Larry, I'll thanks for good. stopping by. Good luck. We're going to look forward to seeing you not only today, but in many matches to come. Larry, Thunderbolt, Hamilton. Davey, how about the introduction? All right, this is going to be a one-fall, 15-minute time limit match. Introducing from Memphis, Tennessee, at 235 pounds, David Haskins. And going against him from Tampa, Florida, 232 pounds, Thunderbolt, Hamilton. This match will be one-fall, 15-minute time limit, referee Jerry Calhoun. David Haskins going against Thunderbolt Hamilton. Larry Hamilton. Hamilton, nice takedown. Got the arm bar. David Haskins on the mat. Haskins, nice move. Puts Hamilton in the ropes, but Hamilton with a shoulder butt puts David Haskins down. Good drop kick by Hamilton. Wow. Flying through the air here around the ring. Thunderbolt Hamilton ends up with the advantage on it, though, as he's got David on the mat and got that left arm stretched out and barred. Askin. Askin sent Hamilton across the way into the turnbuckle. Off the ropes. Hamilton got him with a knee. Askin. Bringing the foot up and slamming Hamilton. He's got a cover on him. Count of one is all he can get, though. Haskins off the ropes. Hamilton powers it down to the mat. Count is at one and two. He got him. Minute 22 seconds of action. 
Good action, too, as David Haskins going against Thunderbolt Hamilton, but Thunderbolt Hamilton ends up with the victory as he powered Haskins down to the mat, made the three-count stick, and in a minute, 22 seconds, the winner is Thunderbolt Hamilton in the match. There you see him as he heads out of the ring. Victory in hand here over David Haskins. David Haskins certainly not uh, not an easy opponent, as a matter of fact. Uh, former football player, collegiate football player, but uh, Thunderbolt Hamilton got the win today. Let's go over to Lance right now. Okay, Dave, the boy, we're uh, bringing in. One thing to start with, let's get the record straight. No more spoiler. My name's Frank Morrell, and I'm making my home right now in Nashville, Tennessee. Lance, you know, a few weeks back, you fans know, Bill Hickerson and the Spoiler had a, a lot of tough battles right in this area. Uh -huh. Bill Hickerson's always been my partner. He's always been a dear friend of mine, and he is to this day. A few days back, he needed a little help, and I come to his aid. And when I did that, Lance, I thought these guys were my friend, like Bill Dundee, Dutch Mantell, Buddy Landale, and the list goes on. When I did what I did to help a friend out, Dundee and them started calling me at home, talking to me every chance they got and telling me how stupid I was. What a turncoat I was. Well, let me get one thing straight, Dundee. I'm no turncoat. Phil Hickerson's my friend, and he's always one phone call away, so don't forget that. Now, Phil, this guy right here, I didn't know the guy all that well, but him and old Phil, I guess Phil sort of adopted him, and Phil talked to me, and I says, I'll do what I can. Everybody knows I've been around for a while, and Billy, I just hope a little bit of me I rub off on you. And I told Bill, I says, let's don't let old Phil down. You know, Lance, seems like everybody in the wrestling world today, the guys that really make a go of it, is guys that sort of got an image. You got the road warriors, and... You got the fantastic ones, and you got the fabs, and the list goes on. I said, Billy, what we got to do, we got to clean your act up a little bit. <laughs> so we took him out and put some nice threads on him. I think he looks good. Boy, he's looking very sharp today, so, Bill, I tell you. You can, the fans, I don't care what you can call us. You can call us Beauty and the Beast. I don't care because I know I wouldn't win no beauty contest. And don't, never did try to win one. But I just like to tell Billy right here in front of all the fans that I will stick behind him. And it, what, hey. hey, just look at this bum out here. I've been told he's trying to look like Tony Faulkner in a cheap $7 suit. Look at him, he's even lighting his hair. You could never look like me, Billy Travis. You'll never have this much class. And as far as this bum, he said he's gonna make you a star. He can't make you a star. He's nothing but Phil Hickerson stooge. That's all he is, and he's a bum. All right. Let me, let me tell you something, Travis. Wearing a pretty little suit, coming out here with a matching tie. Don't make you no man, and hanging around him don't make you no man either. They won't do it, I know. That Bill Dundee, Dutch Mantell, some of them guys, put them idiots up there. They ain't got brains enough to come out here and do it on their own. Well, today. We're going to take time right now. We'll be back in just a moment. Okay. By golly, I'll tell you what. We had uh, some heavy-duty action going in there with Thunderbolt Hamilton, who... Um, impressive with his battle yeah. with David Haskins. Well, he was indeed. Uh, Haskins, not easy competition for anybody, no. but uh, Thunderbolt Hamilton did, in fact, take the win. Earlier today, Buddy Landell defeated uh, Lionel Green. Lionel, young wrestler out of Gallatin, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Buddy Landell beat him. It was Abdul Gaddafi in here. He's a big, big one wrestling out of Libya. He won his match. Bobby Fulton and Tommy Rogers, the Fantastics, winning their match over a new tag team called the Undertakers today. They're rugged, too. Then it was Bill Dundee and Dutch Mantell going against Dirty Rhodes and Tracy Smothers. Dirty Rhodes and Tracy Smothers get the win by disqualification, but uh, they got the, got the win officially, and that's about it, because uh, Dutch Mantell sure. and Bill Dundee really, really hurt uh, Tracy Smothers, and uh, they Intentionally. opened up... 
unintentionally, and it also opened up cut on dirty roads, too. And then it was that Thunderbolt-Hamilton match we were talking about against David Haskins. Thunderbolt getting the victory here today. All kinds of action in the ring, and, of course, a lot of that action with uh, Dundee, Mantell, and Tracy Smothers took place down here on the concrete floor. Boy, I'm here to tell you it sure did. They got uh, poor Tracy in the back with a chair. They jumped on him. They did everything in the world. And they're trying to carry him out, as we said. Dundee comes leaping off of the uh, ring apron, jumped right smack in the middle of him, and uh, while they were trying to carry him out, Get using him out, that yeah. chair as a stretcher in there. Just ridiculous. And they got him in the lower back, and it's one of those things that you just absolutely, well, Finally, uh, we did get a little help in there, and Casey Rick came Casey. in, mm -hmm. and he and Dirty Rhodes raised some lumps up on Dundee and Mantell, and uh, it wasn't all one-sided, that's for a fact. Okay. Well, we had another big uh, action championship wrestling program with some new faces. Uh, we'll continue to bring you the very best in championship wrestling action. We hope maybe you make it a point to tell a neighbor down the street, hey, Tune in. You're going to be watching some great entertainment. And by golly, I'll tell you what, we always enjoy being here with you. So until we see him next week, David, I guess we are better say bye-bye. Yeah. More action will be, in fact, coming up. We will have plenty of it. You'll have an opportunity to join us and participate in all of that action. Till we see you for Dave Brown. It's Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this.